I just pee. Hey, y'all. So, I was just thinking, hold on. That might be dirty. All right, like, I'm listening to my music and Eve came on and I'm just like, ooh. And then it just made me think, what's some of y'all favorite MCs y'all had back in the day? Because, like, Shauna, straight fire to me. Um, of course, I was a little Kim fan, like everybody else. It's the Queen Bee. Um, Eve, of course. I did follow Missy. Probably not as tough as everybody else, but I did love Missy. I think I follow Missy more maybe on the production and the artist side. But, I mean, Missy Elliott is Missy Elliott. So, that's enough said. Um. Queen Latifah, I listened to more when I was younger, like, um, before I had, excuse me, before I had really control of my music, but it doesn't negate that she's the fucking Queen Latifah, <laughs> like, okay, and then, uh, and I was just like, have so much love and respect for Queen Latifah, she's like, who can't, who can't, um, let me see who else like raps like Trina. Trina was my girl for a while. Like ain't no ain't no doubt about it. Mia X, what? The mother of the motherfucking pink. Um Storm, Lady of Rage, but mostly because of Pac. If Pac had a feature, I had to check them out. Um Who else, like, female that I can think that I actually probably went and bought their album, like, rapper? It's, you know, I gotta go through music in my head. I'm thinking about, like, on the rap side. Um, uh, so, that was, like, back then. So, I do like Cardi. I actually, I feel like, well, I used, I listened to her whole album and then, like, her mixed stuff. And then I got hip to her. Um, from my aunt at the time, like she was on, I guess, loving hip hop, but I didn't watch it. And then, uh, started she started popping up in my Instagram, and I was like, okay, so like Cardi got me because of her personality, because she just seemed so real and authentic, and you know, I love that. And then, like, I like her flow. Of course, Nicki Minaj had her time now. I'm a different, like, I like Nicki Minaj music different than other people, I guess. Like, it just felt like it was different. Like, I wasn't, I don't think I was hip to Nicki Minaj when she was doing, like, Underground. I got hip to, like, her mainstream stuff. And especially, like, off the top of my head, usually when she was featuring. So, that's, like, how I like Nicki Minaj, like, on her features. Because that's really how she came to my attention. And she always set a feature off. And then with her and Cardi on Motorsport, I was like, oh, it would be so dope if these two, like, was cool and could do a fucking album together. Like, could you imagine, like, Cardi, Nicki, um, Cash Dial, Meg, Throw in uh, Lotto. I got, I got, I like some of her stuff. Uh, just like a dope ass girl mixtape or something. Like, and then like on my old page, my business page, because I had started like my business, uh, and I had. <clears throat> I had watched um, Queen Latifah's, uh, what was that special she had on Netflix about women in the music industry. And it was so cool to like see some of the new artists and stuff. And it was a couple of them that like was so fresh to me, even if I only checked them out for that time. Yeah, um, so that would be cool. And then even throw in like <laughs> some of my unique girls like uh, Peach Cut and... Aniko and um, 
Huh, who else, like, do I listen to that I can just grab out their name? Ah. Because, uh, let me think. Because I'm usually horrible with names, for real. But I know I'm missing a couple. I'm missing a couple. You can always throw Sierra in the mix to set that shit off. Like, what? Sierra? Like, if all of them, like, put music together and, like, took that those voices and that talent and, like, they creativity and created something, like, you ain't even gotta, I mean, I guess people beefing or whatever for whatever reasons or whatever it is, but, like, on the creative side, I think that shit will rock. And you could even bring in some of the, uh, you could even bring in Eve. Like, you can mix it up. Like, you can bring in Eve. I wonder what happened to Shauna because I had, I think Shauna had two albums out that I had went and bought. Um, both of them. I used to listen to them all the time. Um, and then Eve, like, of course course fire ass you what you couldn't go wrong with eve either like she was spitting straight fire and then you do have remy um now musically i didn't follow remy musically a lot like remy wasn't really my style musically a lot and also she has some straight fire hits like i did what I liked, I liked. I just, I just think Remy was like so cute and like I don't know. It was something. It's something about like her personality that I really did enjoy. So Remy brought me in through some of her songs, and then she kept me from whatever you know was portrayed out. The whatever I caught. Uh. I listened to Foxy, like, when Foxy was brought to my attention. I wasn't a huge Foxy. Like, Foxy was hot, so I tried to be into Foxy because, you know, it was a woman and it was Foxy Brown. So I tried to be into Foxy, and I, li I did listen to her, and I, you know, tried to ride out. But, um, and also, it, it, it wasn't really me. Um... Emil? No. Was that her name? That used to be on the features with... I feel like she was on a couple of features with Jay and Jairu. I can't think what her name was. But anyway, I guess they can... I guess that, that can just be what it is. But based off of what I was thinking, like... That would be fire. Even if it was like... I don't know. I feel like figure that shit out and make your money how it could be made. And if somebody do, make sure you cut me in on the uh on the finder's fee percentage, twenty percent. I think that's cool. Or business, we could do a business partner since I just put it out there. And that I've just elevated myself to a business partner. If I want in on that, uh, create a project. Cause I think it would be dope if, if 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 the women if we could like whoever got beef or you know you get in the studio with somebody and put it I don't know is it a thing like y'all can't be on the same song together because I feel like was that the only song that um Cardi and uh Nikki were on was Motorsport together. Hmm. And then I would say that you can get the beautiful Beyonce to, you know, pop up in there and drop one of her raps or something. Because, you know, BB rapping. But Beyonce's energy is, she, she, she would have to decide. I don't really, hmm, I don't really see her doing that. But, it could, you know, anything could happen. It would be fire. And then... 
if y'all really get fun like because it's kind of like the same thing that the queen was doing just the uh, another spin on it because if you really get uh foxy with it you can see if you could well i already mentioned missy like and then you got the queen and then you got who are some of the dope besides missy who's some of the dopest female uh producers in the game i'm not that extremely hip with the female producers um but i'm definitely assuming if if queen latifah is, is touching on everything else she's definitely touching on producing because i know she's doing the business side you can see that uh huh that would be interesting so that would probably be cool anywho uh that was just my thought because I like Cash Dial. Cash Dial caught me with uh, these niggas for everybody. I love the storytelling in that. And I can see both sides of the fence. And very, very clearly. I love that. Uh, yeah, I love that back and forth. It kind of reminds me of... Um, uh, what's that song with Lil Wayne that I was rocking... That I was listening to all the time? Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think that's the one. Yeah, that storytelling and that shit was. I like I I like music and I definitely you know rock with anything. But I, I I mean a lot of stuff. But I love it. Like it's I me mean, music is art. So who else? So I hit up Chicago. I hit up uh New York. I hit up the Caribbean, the islands. Um, the South. Did I get the West in there? Yeah, Trina. And who else? Because I know Trina was doing, been doing music with some of the new girls. And I love how the new girls do music together. Like, that's so fresh to me. So dope. Like, yeah. Come in and color this shit back up with our energy. Because why we beefing? And then even if you want to, I don't even know. But let's not forget the TLC was the shit for a reason. And each one of them girls had their own sound. Their own style. Which is why they were perfect together as a group. So even if you wanted to throw and t -Boz and Chili for a different sound. Like that shit could just be so epic. And I don't know about nobody's beef and drama and shit for real. Like, I mean, that ain't really. I don't know. I'm thinking like sounds, music, beats, lyrics, the 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 mix of creativity, how y'all can just like all them fucking women, all that creativity, like what can you create in the lab? With the music, you put a beat down, like what you gonna write, what you gonna talk about, all that experience, all those different perspectives, all that heart, all that like what the hell? Talk about that shit on the track. However y'all do it. Without it having to really be anything but creative genius shit. Yeah. So anywho, who's some of y'all uh who's some of who was some of y'all MCs that y'all like y'all favorite uh female style or female artists? Cause I'm still thinking of who before like not tapping into like my r&b and all of that and off the top of my head that's what i'm um that's what i'm coming up with off the top oh rhapsody of course like rhapsody's album is is dope to me it's fresh it's dope so if she in on it i guess it depends on a lot of stuff but i'm just throwing i'm just throwing names out but it might be a cool it might be a cool story it could probably be a cool cool project and i don't be knowing enough to know how that shit would make it happen if it's beef and you know, all that but it, you could make it happen if it's about the dollars and the cents and like is y'all what y'all beefing about enough to 
come in between y'all dollars and cents and creativity and gifts and I don't know, but shit, I get it. If, you, if it's beef, it's beef, shit. All right, I still want to know some of y'all, um, some of y'all female artists that y'all be checking out. 